This is Andy Perlwolf, Boxing News. I'm joined by trainer Tony Sims here in the immediate aftermath of Conor Ben's unanimous decision victory against Rodolfo Orozco, who's just sat there um, with a mighty cut of his own over his eye. But Tony, Conor's obviously returned, he's got the win under his belt. What did you make of his performance tonight? Yeah, uh, it, it was good, you know, to get the 10 rounds under his belt. I mean, he hit, he hit the Mexican with everything and, uh, you know, fair play to the fair, fair play to Adolfo. He, he, he stood up, there was times when I didn't think he was going to stand up, but he did and, you know, fair, fair play to him. He's a tough, tough kid and he gave Connor 10 good rounds. Going into this week, I thought a lot of, I think rather, a lot of people would have expected whoever Rodolfo was as an opponent was going to come in, but Connor would have got him out of there at some point and would have been like this showboaty type finish, that highlight reel knockout. Um, was he more tough, uh, more durable than what you ever imagined he would be? Yeah, I think I think everybody probably saw that. Everyone in the arena uh, could hear the shots going in on him and you could see the shots that he was taking. It was just like one after the other and... Uh, you know, he, he's a really, really tough kid and I don't really see anyone stopping that kid, to be honest with you. Obviously, I, I was watching it um, back here whilst we were waiting for everyone to come backstage. Um, what was you saying to Connor in the corner? Because at times it looked like he might be a little deflated. Was he getting worked up or frustrated with himself that he couldn't find that shot to end the fight? I think he thought he was going to find a shot all the way through the fight. There was a time in the ninth when he, when he looked like he was going to put him away as well. But... Um, no, I think he was just like pleased to get the rounds in and pleased to box again. And you know, sometimes when you've been out of the ring that long, you forget like how hard the fights can be. You know, and uh, I think it, it, it spurs you on to train harder. Uh, not that you don't train hard, but just train harder because you know how hard the fights can be because you actually do forget that. Kind of obviously up at 154 for this fight. Um, there's all that talk about Junior up at 160, but seeing him in there today, maybe. He's do you feel like his power hasn't carried through or is it just more so a matter of, of Roscoe was a very tough man? No, I think his power is definitely there. I think you can see that, you know, there's evidence of that. I mean, he's just a really tough, really tough, tough guy and he's had like 38 fights and never been stopped. So, you know, um, he's a tough man. He's a big man as well. And, uh, you know, as I said earlier, fair play to him. Connor, in the build-up to be said, he didn't want to fight, but it was something you said you wanted for him to get that experience. As he said, thank you yet for advising him on that. Well, now you know why I wanted him to fight. I didn't want him to go into a massive fight without having having a fight first, because you know being out of the ring that long, you know it takes a bit. You know you got to get down on your weight again. You got to do the fight week, uh, get the rounds in when it, you know when you got a tough kid keep coming at you like that. So, you know, that, that, that tonight, it done him a world good. I've seen Eubank Jr. put a, a, a sleeping emoji tweet out um, in reference to Connor's performance tonight. Um, when the talks progress on that front, obviously, you know, we know we've got everything going on with the board and UCAD. Are things on hold while that gets resolved? or? Uh, I don't know, really. You know, it's something that uh, Eddie Earn can answer because they're, they're obviously dealing with it. So I don't really know. But if the fight can be made, it can be made. Do you know what I mean? So there's been a lot of talk about whether or not people feel it's right that Connor returns this week. Has that affected you guys at all? Has, has he been on Connor's mind? No, not at all. He's just prepared. You know, obviously, when you when you get fights, you like a good 10, 12 weeks notice, but obviously he never had that. But he's been in the gym the whole time and, you know, a couple of weeks really he's took the fight at. So, you know, as I say earlier, it was, it was a great 10 rounds for him. Tony, I know there's a couple of other people waiting to speak to you and you, I'm sure you want to go top up your tan one more time tomorrow before you head home. So thank you for speaking to me and I'll catch you next week in London. Cheers, mate. Thank you.